You have such a beautiful plant. Oh. I love gardening. Oh. I got you. Oh, hello. My name is Alexander Pino, for those who don't know. And as always, this is my wine talk. Today I have a, another special topic that I hold dear and near to my little whiny heart, and that is driving. I hate driving with a passion. Ugh, it makes me want to scream, and you do not want to hear me scream. But I would like to talk about two categories today. However, there are some subcategories within my first category, so that is that. My first category is drivers. The second category will be vehicles, but we'll get there when we get there. But with drivers, you see there are three types of drivers. There are the NASCAR drivers, the tortoises, and the rebels. Let's start with the NASCAR drivers. The NASCAR drivers are those who A. Speed B. Pass people while going 20 miles over the speed limit and C. Rearing their engine at anything that moves. Ugh, how annoying. Anywho. Besides NASCAR drivers, there are also the tortoises. The tortoises are somewhat self-explanatory, but they are the ones that go at least 20 miles under the speed limit. You see, their speed is made out of caution, which I completely understand. Things happen. However, I do have a problem with the tortoises. That problem is there are certain tortoise drivers that are sitting at a stoplight waiting to turn right, even though they could have gone many times. Right on red is a, uh, is a law that we can follow, correct? But even when it's green, I see them waiting. What are you waiting for? It will return red? Or do you prefer the yellow caution sign? Because you're so wary, God help us all. Anywho, the third category is the most unpredictable, the rebels. And no, I'm not talking about damn Star Wars. I'm talking about rebels the car drivers. Duh. Anywho, these drivers are the wild card, you see. They break rules at any chance they get. These are the ones that don't turn their blinker on whenever they're trying to turn to another lane or make a turn in general or run through a stoplight or roll through a stop sign. Let's get one thing straight. How hard is it to read the stop sign? It mustn't be that hard. And so, let me guess, they read stop and it must mean, keep going. Do we have a bunch of illiterates driving? Because, you know, last I checked, to drive, you have to read. But, back to the turning without using your blinkers. The next person to cut in front of me without using that blinker will find they won't have much need for wheels anymore. After I'm done remodeling their vehicle, I'll show them. Anywho. That is all my annoyance with drivers, per se. However, there is another category, vehicles. Vehicles have just as much a part of my hatred in driving, mechanical errors, even worse. But the main reason why I hate vehicles when it comes to driving is the constant maintenance. How am I supposed to maintain this vehicle day and night? This one hell of a person can barely maintain themselves, much less one hunking piece of bowing metal. Besides that, it was very short today, I know. But that's all of my wine talk. I hope you enjoyed me whining about driving as per usual. And if you enjoyed my video, make sure to subscribe, comment, like, and hit that notification bell, okay? And remember, the world is your cup of wine. Sip on the truth and stay a while.